Too late to apologize. Too late. Good afternoon, guys, from El Nido in the Philippines. Today I'm going to be going to a new hotel. We are heading to a new hotel and it is a special hotel because it is on one of the most famous beaches in all of El Nido and that is called uh, Nakapan Beach. So guys, we got a short road trip to the hotel, probably like 30 minutes and then we're going to arrive just in time for sunset and we'll have a look around, give a little tour, show you the beach. I've heard like it's one of the best beaches in the Philippines, if not in the world. Wow, this is just sublime. When the light is just uh, bouncing off the, the greenery, it just creates different hues of green and it's so beautiful. These bridges are insane. I feel like we're like so remote. We're not actually that remote, but there is an airport fairly close to be fair. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Oh my god, I'm slipping. Hello! This is not nice, this is very rough. Now it's just a race against the clock to see whether we can get there in time for sunset. I think we will make it. I think we're pretty close. We're heading towards the ocean now. You can see there's lots of little shops with uh, advertising. Now we're going through proper local, like very sporadic houses in the middle of nowhere i would love to explore some of these houses and we will do that in a future video straight ahead ah that's it nakpan beach on my there we go let's go we've arrived at nakpan beach and boy it's a vibe hello where is uh, nakpan glamping Down there? Uh, maybe from here it's two minutes walk. Uh, did you see the sign there? Okay, we just keep walking along the beach. Yeah. Okay. And you see the I love Nakban sign? Okay. There. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. Hello. Jesus. Hello. Thank you. Come boost the car. Good. It's a vibe here. Wow, this is insane. And it's nice to have an actual beach where it's like a quite a large beach instead of just like a small beach. Oh, we've got a friend. Hello. Here we go. So we've got the beach here and then this is the communal area and we're going to come up and I'll show you the room properly. Kamusta ka? How are you? Good sir. How about you? How's your uh, oh, travel? It was a fun journey to get here, I'll oh, tell you that. Okay. How's the road? Very bumpy. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> anong, anong pangalang mo? Hannah, sir. Nice Hannah, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, just enjoy, sir. Thank you. <laughs> How's my Tagalog? It's good, sir. Yeah? I'm learning slowly. Yeah. What's this? It's just iced tea, sir. Oh, awesome. It's good, man. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting stuck. We're gonna go for the old chug. Take your drinks, gentlemen, and let's proceed. Ali's got the traditional headwear on. Hello, Mashan. Hello, hello. I'm part <laughs> of the island life now. You look like the king of Philippines. I'm moving here. <laughs> How many tents do you have in total? How many? Seven tents. Seven? Seventeen. Seventeen? Oh, okay, nice. Wow. So the beach is just over here. And then this is the this is the resort. Oh my god. This is incredible. It's like I don't know how to describe this. It feels like we're in the jungle here. Yeah. So much greenery, so many different types of trees, and then the coconut trees, and this is the tent. Holy mother. Wow. This is incredible. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. That's a big tent. That's big. That's sick. Nice. Wow. And I'm now going to show you the facilities, the room and the beach. So, start off with the main attraction which is the room. Obviously you can see the beach is just behind me so we're literally like 10 meters from the beach and uh, in this like enclosed area full of these tents feels like we're in the jungle here everything's so beautiful it's so well maintained and this is the casa this is our room for the night there's uh two of us me and ali in this one and then danny has his own separate one and there's just like i think they said there's 17 different tents around um so yeah we've got nice little uh 
deck chair outside and then zips up so we've got to keep this closed for the mozzies and if you come inside <laughs> it's so cool it's like a it's like an optical illusion it looks like fairly small but once you get in like this is bigger than most hotel rooms um, so I'll give you a tour it's got two double beds over here we've got a fridge with some water in we also can like stock up your own drinks we got obviously it gets super hot as you can imagine uh, especially in the midday so we've got one aircon unit here and then three fans these are all my fans here obviously you guys know me i have a lot of fans and then nice little light here some chill out chairs that we're probably not going to use maybe some meditation chairs i actually haven't done any meditation today so i will try um, obviously got electricity which is a nice little bonus it's like i've been camping many many times <laughs> but i've never been uh, camping to this point uh, this obviously is called glamping i've never been glamping and this is seriously like incredible like when you wake up when you're camping you feel horrible in the morning everything's wet you're tired but here i feel as fresh as i do when i wake up in a hotel and of course you get the added extra of being on the beach um this is i guess like a little chill out area workplace we've got a little mirror tissues shower cap soap and then coming over here towels and a comfy bed very soft bed i have to say like one of the better beds in terms of uh, last few days and then a nice little pillow very soft pillow and it even like feels like you've got like quite a high ceiling like it does not feel like camping that's all i keep saying it's camping when it's not it's glamping but glamping feels a bit weird to say um so yeah coming out it is like nearly midday now so it's quite hot so i'll show you the rest of the facilities we've got like a cool infinity pool here as well not infinity pool just a normal standard pool yeah. zip this bad boy up the only thing about this is it's uh, very easy to get lost i seem to get lost very easily here especially at night when you're trying to go for a wee um you can see they've got the names of the different trees the palmera where's that from it is from doesn't say i'm guessing it's from the philippines you would think and then they've got like these cool bridges wooden bridges <laughs> I really hope that this looks as good on camera as it does in real life because it looks bloody incredible in real life. We've got palm trees everywhere and this is not my favourite bit but one of my favourite bits is the pool. As well as the sea you've got like a freshwater pool with a bar, showers over there and then a chill out area over there overlooking. I'm going to go for a quick dip but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get my GoPro wet, so I'm going to put this down because it will ruin the mic if I do. Yeah, this is uh, this is an added extra. Obviously, it's not even needed this part, but it's nice to have the option to have uh, like a pool or the beach because obviously not everyone's into like getting sand everywhere and stuff. So you got this area if you just want to chill out, tan, and. Uh, you got the palm trees everywhere. You guys probably notice this is one of the best bits about Nakapan Beach is the palm trees, sorry, coconut trees. Keep making that mistake. Coconut trees everywhere. Um, so yeah, super nice. Okay, we'll carry on to the beach now, which is one of the best bits. Nice little dip. That's what you need on a day like today. You gotta just keep continuously dipping in every 10, 20 minutes. I'll just quickly show you the shower facilities. Obviously not everyone has a shower um but there's like multiple showers dotted around i think someone's using this one all right here we go so you just got shower there nice shower with with uh body wash and shampoo and then toilet there very clean very well equipped and i think there's probably like three or four maybe a few more actually dotted around it's not one per ten but it's definitely enough like i've Never had to wait. The Santan Dwarf. Ah, these are the Santan Dwarf. Okay. I love it. Look at this bad boy. Oh my god. You would never get something like that in the UK, I tell you that. Hello, Sire? Raise the drawbridge. Onto uh, that famous YouTuber. 
Yeah, um, I don't like to brag about it, but yeah, no. <laughs> Only kidding. How are you, bro? Amazing, man. This you is sick, huh? It is sick. Certified vibe. So nice. All right, I'll come and show you the beach area. So I think our tent is just around here. Hello, Kamustaka. Hi, Islam. Good. <laughs> and then uh, we haven't actually seen any of this, but apparently they do some turtle ocean conservation, which is awesome. And uh, apparently this is where they, they hatch the turtles in here, but not today, not today. It says uh, 60 days it takes, but maybe I'm, I'm guessing it's the wrong time of the year. Maybe I'll ask if I... Ah, I'll ask. Hello. Come on, Saka. Ogila? Where are the turtles? Where? Okay. Miss Makano. <laughs> uh, where are the turtles? They're on the sea. Ah, not not yeah. the, the right time of the year. Okay, when is the time of the year? By November. November? That's the start of their breeding season. Okay, I will come back in November. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay. Good morning, all. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, sir. Hello, security man. Are you keeping out all the all the bad people? Bad people. <laughs> no bad people. Yeah? No bad people? Okay, good. Uh, there is one bad person. If you see a, someone called Ali, he looks like the Incredible Hulk. Oh. Don't let him in. Oh. He's bad, very bad. You know the one, he's in the uh, tent eight. Oh. He's, <laughs> uh, ban him from this place. I want the tent to myself. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. And here we are. We have made it to heaven on earth. Look at this, guys. It's just basically a, a huge bay all the way around here. And... Uh, probably at least one kilometer maybe two kilometers and my favorite thing about it is when you look right it's just nothing looks like you know we're on an abandoned island apart from the volleyball and the boats but just coconut trees lining i've never been to a beach where it's just pure coconut trees and then on this side we've got a little bit more commercialized area this is part of the glamping area and then there's the breakfast area over here we've got volleyball nets we've got some islands which we are going to be going to in a later video so you guys are going to have to watch out for that and we had a little barbecue on the beach last night that'll be another separate video so you, you guys got more videos to watch but um yeah this is just paradise honest paradise hello how are you good i'm good i just asked the same question twice in two languages hello i'm okay thank you they have lots of these sellers uh, on the beaches but you know they're just entrepreneurs trying to do their thing then coming over here we have the reception area they got ATM they got Wi-Fi it's very slow Wi-Fi but what can you expect this is the breakfast area I'll show you breakfast later and they also have wood-fired pizzas and Ibiza music you gotta do the neck dance and then this is the menu guys We've got Filipino options, some pizza. Oh, I didn't even see that. Smoothie bowls. Okay, stay tuned for a smoothie bowl. And look at this, guys. Best seller, Palawan number one beach. I'm gonna have to get that. Oh, it's a alcoholic drink. <laughs> yes, please. And then, finally, I'll show you. I'll go for a little bit to dip in the sea. They also have um, multiple little added extras here. They've got um, a hat making class. They've also got a fire that you can start if you want to, like you can do a little beach fire, maybe we'll do that in the evening. But yeah, it's been nice to just disconnect from the world basically, because obviously we don't have internet by our tent, so I've kind of just been like enjoying my time here and uh, trying not to think about work. Luckily for you guys, I have my videos scheduled, so my YouTube videos will go out without me even doing anything I can just be lying on the beach and the video will publish um, but that's because I planned beforehand so you're welcome guys look at this this is absolutely incredible right I'm gonna put that down there and we're gonna compare the beach to the pool you see there's a few fish oh guys there's no no competition you gotta always go for the beach this is fresh seawater. 
not. Look at that. Always wins, always wins. Whoa. With the views, you don't get this at the pool. Coconut trees everywhere, islands, and waves. Oh! I'm just gonna walk down the beach a little bit, show you what else there is to offer here. And I might actually uh, get some uh, sun cream because I'm using alleys and I need to get my own here. A nice little photo shoot. Hello, Kamusta Ka? Where are you guys from? El Nido, Palawan? Oh, nice. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm fine. Fine? 16. 16. How are you? Why are you laughing? You are younger? I'm very good. I'm very good. Yes, sir. You guys just here? That's blog. Huh? Blogger. Where are you from? Uh, from England. From yeah. England. Okay. From nice to meet you too. From Australia. From Australia. <laughs> you guys look like Aussies. <laughs> okay, let's hear your Aussie That's accent joke. then. <laughs> good eye, mate. All right, have a good day, guys. Oh, the youths of today. The boisterous youths. I remember when I was your age, frolicking around on the beach. Anyway, look at this. We've got some tiki huts. Oh, wow, they're really laughing in the background there. Oh, what's this? Fish burger? Pineapple burger? Ooh. Maybe a bit later. Proper jungle vibes here. Jungle juice, coconut rum. Oh, awesome. Served in some nice... Hello, how are you? Good, good. Good. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at these tourists. Tourist heaven. Okay. Do I spot coconuts? Oh, hello. I think it would be rude not to. We've got some scarves. Little market run. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Kamusta ka? Oh, we have the coconut seller here. Oh, we got some red horse, some San Miguel light, and then some crisps. But I'm I'm thinking more coconuts. Look at these, these look, these look fresh as. We got a nice little doge. I won't wake him up. Because he's having a nice little sleep. You're getting a little head tan there. Hello, is the coconut seller here? Hello. Oh, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Kamusta ka? Okay. Anung pangalang mo? Right foot. Nice to meet you. You have coconuts? Yep. Could I have one? They're my cold. Cold? Yes, please. Oh, look at this. Like this, 100. Oh, freshly made? Yep. Okay, go on then. Yes, please. Just one. 80, so that's like uh, $2. No, just under $2. Did you cut, did you get them yourself? Yep. Oh, from the beach? From this beach? Oh, awesome, you can see all these coconut trees here. You climb up? You climb up the tree yourself? Oh, wow. There we go. Perfect hexagon. Is that a hexagon? I've forgotten. Nice. Very nice. 100 pop. 100, is that? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's 100 for this. That's fair enough. Thank you so much. Selamat, sir. How many, how, how many coconuts do you sell in one day? 30. 30? Oh, awesome. The entrepreneur of uh, Nakapan Beach. Oh, look, he's got more customers. Okay, let's try this. Thank you so much. Let's go for it. That is delicious. That is beautiful. Sublime. I'm running out of adjectives. So heavy. And I always forget, every time I buy a coconut, how much liquid is in there. Probably at least one litre. You see all the tourists here. Here for the day trip, maybe. Maybe they're staying the night. I would say Nakapan Beach, definitely best beach I've been to in the Philippines. Is it the best beach I've been to in the world? It's definitely top five, definitely top five. You guys tell me whether it's the best beach in the world. I know Palawan was voted National Geographic best island in the world. But yeah, best thing about it is it's usually undiscovered. I know I'm actually with about 
50 tourists here, but uh, if you walk maybe 50 meters down the beach, there's no tourists. Very tasty coconut. Where are you from? Philippines. Whereabouts in Philippines? Manila. Manila? Oh, it's a great place. You can see like the sharp cleaver. Wow. You don't want to mess with that. And this one, even bigger. I guess he uses that for these for these bad boys that haven't been opened yet. But he's uh, shaved all of the skin off, which makes it look very presentable. And then we've also got, can I try some of this? My meat. I can try the meat? Yeah. How, you have a spoon? Yep. So you get a little bit of the meat like this. And remember to always use all of the coconut, recycle everything. Mmm, it's good. I prefer the liquid, but it, it's good. It's good. You can you can get so much out of this coconut. Very good. Very healthy. Thank you, sir. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and we have come to breakfast. And you can see I've got chicken. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but it's a nice Filipino dish. We've also got cappuccino, pineapple juice. Ali, you can start your meal now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this guy, just, how was it, bro? It was delicious, man. <laughs> they overdid that sauce a little bit, though. Oh, really? It was heavy, heavy sauce, but oh, really? it's good nonetheless. I've had this, uh, a little bit of this chicken yesterday, so I'm expecting it big things, but Ali just said that it's a little bit too much salt. Oh yeah, mm, that's a lot of sauce. It's, it's so of good though. <laughs> so sweet, I like barbecue sweet, like glazed sauce on the chicken. Can't beat that. And then uh, we'll go for a little triple threat with the chicken, the egg, and the rice. That's super good actually. It's like very I'm not used to having like rice for breakfast or even chicken for breakfast. Just not really the thing that we do. Um well I do. But it's nice, I like it. I can get used to it. And then the uh, the cappuccino like really nice to have like a, a proper coffee that they've made obviously from I'm guessing a coffee maker instead of like the filter coffee or the instant coffee that I usually have for breakfast so yeah really nice and like I said they've made all this food to order so there's no buffet so there's no like food that's been waiting around for a few hours it's all been cooked fresh which is really nice and finally you guys know Slam cheers Slam actually I'll take take the pineapple out cheers Apologize. Too late. Too late to apologize. <laughs>